let us solve these equations. Uh, the question is solve for x, which means you want to find the value of x. Okay. So the first question is 5 to the power x is 7, 75.8. So before we solve the uh, equation, before we find the value of x, let's, let's estimate the value of x. So let's use our knowledge. We know 5 to the power 1 is 5. Okay, 5 squared is 25 and 5 cubed is 125. So using your logic, tell me what should be the value of x if f, f of x, sorry, f, if 5 to the power of x is 75.8, using this two fact, I think you can make a judgment what should be the value or estimate of the value of x. So from this I can say that phi to the if, I can say that x has to be between 2 and 3, somewhere between. So I can write this, x is surely, my answer should be between 2 and 3. That's even without knowing what to do. If you know these facts, you can say x has to be a number between 2 and 3. Okay, now when you have a power equation like this, 5 to the power x is equal to 75.8, what you do is you have to take log on both sides. Okay, so that will, because we are going to apply the log rule later on. So applying the log on both sides, I can say log of 5 to the power x is equal to log of 75.8. So what I've done is I've taken simply log of both sides. Okay, now there's a rule. Let me write the rule like this. The log rule is like this. Log base b of x to the power n is equal to n log b of x. Now this formula you should know or it will be given in your formula sheet. Okay, if it's given in your formula sheet you should know when to use. So now here yeah, when you compare this with this, here yeah, the base, when, you, when we don't write a base, it is understood that the base is 10. So here yeah, the base is 10. When we don't write base, when we write log, this is called the common log. By default, you should understand the base is 10. So when you compare b with 10, your x with 5, and your x with n. Now, this is a bit confusing. So when you apply this rule, this x comes down. Okay, so applying that rule, I can say, uh, let me use a blue color. So can I say x log phi is equal to log of 75.8 is equal to log 75.8. Now you're going to divide both sides by log log of phi. So I'm going to say divide this side by log of phi. So I'd also divide this side by log phi. So this log phi and log phi gets cancelled. So x is equal to x is equal to log x is equal to log of 75.8 divided by log of 5. Okay, so let us use the calculator. So this is my calculator menu run. So if you press log 75.8 divided by log phi, it's 2.689. So I'm rounding to two decimal places, or uh, I'll round it to, say, three decimal places. It is 2.689. Okay, so x is, x is equal to 0. Point, no, 2.689. So x is equal to 2.689. This is in three, rounded to three decimal places. Okay, 
Now, what does this mean? Now, just to check your answer, phi to the power this number, this means, to check your answer, phi to the power this number, x should give you 75.8. So let us check this in the calculator. So we need to enter the whole number. So phi raised to this whole number, you can enter like this, shift answer. So the calculator reads this answer as 2.68, the whole number, which is 75.8. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Okay, now there's a smarter way of doing this if you don't want to do it through the whole process. So I'll do that here. Now this is an exponent form. And if you want to, there's a rule like this. So let me write the rule first. So the rule says like this. So let me write this in the, let me write this in the log form. So this is the exponent form. This implies, let me write here, this implies log base phi of 75.8 is equal to x. So this is the conversion from the exponent form to the log form. So this exponent form can be written as this, or you can read also like this, phi to the power x is 75.8. Now there's a rule which is like this, log base b of x log base b of x is equal to log base a of x log base a of x log base a of x divided by log base a of b. So if you have log 75.8 applying this rule, can I say log log base phi of 75.8 is equal to log base 10 of 75.8 75.8 8 divided by log base 10 of phi. And that's what we got, if you remember. That's how we got x. x is log 75.8 divided by log of 5. And that has a base of 10 by default. And you'll get the same answer Okay, in one step. Okay, now let us do this in one step. We can do this smartly. So yeah, I'm going to write this as a log form. So writing this as a log form, can I say x is equal to log base 2 of 30. So this is directly from the exponent form to the log form. So this is nothing but x is equal to x is equal to log base 10. I'm not writing base 10. It's understood log base 10 of 30 divided by log base 10 of 2. Now before we get the answer, I can say that x should be between 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the power 5 is 32, so it should be between 4 and 5. The answer of x should be between 4 and 5 because 2 to the power 4 is 16, because I know 